during this half hour of this press conference, there will be seven shootings and two deaths due to guns. Over 300 shootings a day. Over the past 10 years, 71 Americans were killed in terrorist attacks, 301,000 people killed by gun violence. We need to do better. Gun violence was one of the very first issues I worked on in my 20s. In the 1990s, I drafted an early proposal that became a New York City ordinance to establish liability by gun manufacturers for firearm injuries. The NRA preempted that law at the federal level. I then worked for the US Senate Judiciary Committee on legislation to tighten gun dealer licensing. The NRA defeated that legislation. As a former criminal prosecutor, I am proud to stand with our speaker, our public safety chair, our colleagues, to say California must do better. We often lead the way, and on guns, we have to lead the way. Laura was bright and beautiful at age 19 when she was killed in a rampage shooting in 2001. She had tremendous capability, kindness, and spirit. She graduated as high school valedictorian, and she was in the midst of her campaign for student body presidency at Haverford College at the time of her death. She was working at the Nevada County Behavioral Health Department when a person with severe untreated mental illness came in and shot her four times at point blank range. Laura died with her pen still in her hand. This happened because someone who had no business owning a gun had a house full of guns. I don't need to be reminded of National Gun Violence Awareness Day or week. Sadly, I'm aware of it every single day. Every day I wonder what my daughter would be doing now. Would she be married? Would I be a grandmother? I'll never know. The worst mass shooting in San Francisco history at the law firm of Pettit and Martin. 101 California, San Francisco. Cleveland Elementary School, Stockton. Oikos University, Oakland. Isla Vista, Santa Barbara. San Bernardino. Mass shootings, an epidemic in our state. A common factor in these mass shootings has been a shooter's ability to quickly detach magazines and reload. Even though in 1989 our state passed the first assault weapons ban in the country, as you've heard, gun manufacturers have taken advantage of a loophole to put hundreds of thousands of guns that look and work exactly like assault weapons that allow rapid reloading as easily as an illegal assault weapon. Our AB 1663 would limit easy access to semi-automatic rifles that rapidly reload by prohibiting guns that accept detachable magazines. If you're not actually in a military war zone, you shouldn't have the ability to kill as many people as quickly as possible. I want to thank Attorney General Kamala Harris, the sponsor of our bill, her Department of Justice team that worked closely with us to craft the bill, as well as U.S. Senator Senator Feinstein, an early supporter of our bill and the author of the Federal Assault Weapons Ban. With leadership like this, we can create a safer California, and we won't have to count seven shootings in this next half hour. And with that, I'm proud to introduce Assemblymember Santiago from LA, and I'll just note that I am a co-author of his bill. All of us are co-authoring each other's bills. We must stand together to reduce the violence. Thank you.